Good day everybody, how's it going? Up for review, I have Star Wars The Legacy Collection, Build a Droid number 47, Captain Typhoon. I've been looking for this guy for a while. Though I have found him on eBay, he's always been for slightly over $25. Then I decided, why am I not looking on Amazon? And I found him on Amazon my first try for, it was somewhere around $9.99. It was less than $12 with prime shipping. So I'm pretty stoked about getting this guy. I actually like the way he looks. I like the soldiers as well. Um, I just think they're really well done, especially compared to the original Rebel Troopers. But as you can see here on the back, this comes with the HK-47 leg. It's right leg. And that's another thing I'd like to build up on is an HK-47. I have one, but it's not the red one. But anyhow, let's take a look at him out of the package. All right, well, here we go. Captain Typhoon out of the package. I'm impressed. I knew what it was going to be. You could just tell he was a really nice mold just looking through the package. There is some restriction in his lower body as far as articulation is concerned, but that is because of his... Uh, what do you call it? Cloak, I guess? His outer dress right here. But uh, nonetheless, he's still got your standard articulation bilaterally with the arms. You can laterally raise the shoulders. There is slight restriction with his shoulder guard um, or shoulder pads, whatever you want to call them, as you can see here. So they can only, they cannot pretty much raise too, too much. You can see right here. So there is limited articulation in the shoulders. And the left one goes higher than the right. It's uh, interesting. Um, let me get a little closer here. You can see he's got the same standard articulation at the elbows. Forearms rotate as such. No abdominal crunch. Or, nope, no abdominal crunch, but he does twist left and right. Um, it's got the standard articulation at the knees and the ankles and there goes that paint flaw that that they like to do um, I think MG villain has pointed this out on several of his um, reviews is that how they skip out on the paint on the back in front of the the ankles and feet and they did so here with Captain Typhoon Okay, so there that goes. You can see a notch right here, and that is for his gun. You can see there is a notch on his firearm. Let me get a little close up there. Hopefully it'll... Ah, uh, it wants to get his... There we go. Well, there's a notch right there on the pistol. And the pistol is actually pretty nice. It's a three paint tone. Black, silver, and the brown. So they did a nice detail on his little pistol. I like it. And right under this device here that's attached to his belt, I don't know if that's some kind of comm link, but that is where his firearm goes. And let me get that in there. There we go. So no holster. It's just, which I like. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the holsters on like the Stormtroopers, for example, because of the way they fit in there. It, it like goes through the holster and literally through it at the bottom. Uh, well, let me, maybe I can show you. Oops. Like with uh, with this stormtrooper, you can see the the firearm just pretty much is it, it it's awkward looking. Getting back to Captain Typhoo, let's take a look at the front. I really like his outfit, and you know what? On a I guess on a deeper level. I really like the fact that they have more ethnic diversity in the new films. Now, for those of you that are new to my or new to my channel, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the or, you know the prequels. I like the third one the most. The first one I was extraordinarily disappointed, and the second one was better, and the third was you know better than the two previous. But what they did well on was the ethnic diversity and they had more females. Now, I love the original three films. They are my favorites. But let's admit, they had a lack of female characters and they had a lack of ethnic diversity. All these damn aliens. And you had... How many black people in the first one? Hmm. Oh, how many in the second one? 
he did have Lando, but then they turned him into a traitor. But luckily, he redeemed himself. And in the third, they had some background figures uh, in the indoor forest. So all these aliens and and whatnot, and uh, barely any females and barely any ethnic groups other than uh, your Anglo-Saxons and whatnot. So I'm glad they finally, you know, got, uh, I believe the actor is Samoan, so they got a Pacific Islander in there, right on. So I'm a pro wrestling fan too, so, and if you're a pro wrestling fan, then you know that the, the you know, having Samoans in the wrestling business is a must. So let's get back to Star Wars here. Back to this character. Um, so I, I'm really glad that, the, that they came out with this character and had him fully articulated. I wasn't a big fan of the one that they had, and I forgot what line that was, but it had light blue packaging. So you can see here, his hat does come off. He has his eye patch, which does not come off. And the hat's even pretty nice, as you can see. So nice detail. Again, you got the paint detail on the hat, the eye patch, the different layer of clothing, the actual cloth beneath this part, which is kind of awkward because it doesn't really fit the top, but that's the least of my concerns. So I'm not really sure what else to say about the character. You know, I'm going to leave photos at the end of this as I do on all my other videos, put them in diorama setting. So if you care to, you can go ahead and pause and take a look at the character in greater detail and not have to listen to me yap. And there you go. There's our Captain Typhoon. So you can see him in the background with uh, the two soldiers, the Nubu soldiers. Now again, I said I like these guys because of their armor. They look more like they have more armor and you know, I have to have a captain for the two. And with the Star Wars universe that I'm creating, um, will be creating with, I don't want to get give too much detail, but I will be creating a comic book style of movie, I guess you could say, with scripts, because, you know, one voice actor, which would be myself for every character, wouldn't go over too well. It's going to take some time to do it, but this character in my universe, I'm going to use him, and he's probably going to be one of my main characters, because I really do like this character a lot, as I've probably said several times. But before we go, I also want to show you the HK-47 droid leg. Now I just need all the other ones. But as expensive as these characters are, like I believe I still need uh, Aunt Beru and uh, a few other characters. And they're all pricey on both eBay and um, Amazon. So it's going to be some time before I build this HK-47. But anyhow, I guess there you have it. You also added a little touch. I also added a little touch of my philosophical stance concerning some of the character developments and whatnot in the Star Wars films, or not development, but you know. Uh, so there you have it, Captain Typhu. And thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, you all have a great time, great day, whatever. Later.